Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, we're still in John, John chapter six. This, it is just packed full of good stuff. Um, yesterday we learned, we um, talked about John six thirty six. Today we are going to learn, um, nope, was that right? Nine, no, yeah, John six thirty six. <laughs> I just videoed that thing like five, 10, 15 minutes ago. You'd think I'd remember, but nope. <laughs> anyway, uh, John six thirty six is what we learned yesterday. So today we are going to study John six forty seven. And again, my dog's in trouble because he did something. He's in timeout, so he's whining in there. If y'all can hear that, sorry. Um, just keeping it real because this is real life. Um, John six forty seven says, Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes has eternal life. Can I get a witness there? Amen. So yesterday we studied John six thirty six, um, and we read the verses 25 through 36. So today, let's read verses 37 through 47. Verse 37 says, All those the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me, I will never drive away. Praise the Lord, because I sin all the time. And you know what? Once saved, always saved. I don't have to go back and get resaved every time I sin. I don't mean to sin. It's just sometimes it happens. We all do it. So praise the Lord that he will never drive us away. We will never become unsaved. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Verse 38 for I have come down from heaven, not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of all those he has given me, but raise them up at the last day. For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise them up at the last day. Seriously. At this, the Jews there began to grumble about him because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he now say, I come down from heaven? These skeptics, and like I said before, I, we're learning about skepticism because we're learning about belief. It's, they go hand in hand. You question things until you believe it. So verse 43, it says, Stop grumbling among yourselves, Jesus answered. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws them, and I will raise them up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, They will all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard the Father and learned from him comes to me. No one has seen the Father except the one who is from God. Only he has seen the Father. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Praise the Lord. Um. Just a, a few weeks ago, the pastor was preaching, and this has never occurred to me in all my years, but um, Jesus has always been just like God. They're the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. They've always been for all of eternity. How that works, we don't know because we are not God. So we have to have faith that that just works, okay? But Jesus has always been. He has always been there. And 
I never thought about that before until he mentioned it um, in, in his sermon. And it's true. He's part of God. He's, they're all, they're the Trinity. They're all together. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. But God the Father sent his Son to earth for us. So, and he sent him as an infant, being, he was born by Mary, um, through Mary. Um, so, but he's always been, and that just kind of was like a light bulb went off. And, and think about it, 40 something years, I had never thought about that. So maybe that's something new for y'all to think about too. Who knows? Um, but this right here, this whole chapter six in, in John is like the clearest picture of the plan of salvation you can get. I don't think there needs to be any further explanation. But if you don't understand, you know, please comment below. I'm here to answer the questions as best I can. I'm not a Bible scholar. I am not God. I am a human being that is here sharing what I feel like God's placed on my heart to share with everybody. Um, maybe this is going to turn into just a little diary that my kids will watch. Like, or my great, great, great grandkids will watch like eons from now and go, oh, that crazy granny. Who knows? But um, if you have a question, place it below and I will try to answer it. If I can't answer it, I'll be very honest with you and tell you I don't know the answer to that. So, um, but after we've read all of these verses in John chapter 6, I don't think I need to go any further and explain anything else. It is like crystal clear. So let's just pray. And this will be a short video, but um, maybe I'll show you one of my art journals that I did before. Uh, I think I've shown you that one. I'll show you this one next. Okay, um, so let's pray and then I'll show you my art journals. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for all these people that have come to watch my YouTube channel. Lord, I pray that you will just be with them and touch them with your with the Holy Spirit so that they will come to believe in you. Lord, I, I pray that there will be salvation through this channel. Lord, I pray that it is your will if for me to continue, I will continue. Um, Lord, I want to do what you want me to do. Lord, I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so this one, um, oh, this one's in John also. Um, this is some of the first stuff that I did before I thought about doing YouTube. I was art journaling all of the Believe Bible, um, all of the Believe um, verses out of the Bible. And then God placed it on my heart to do this YouTube channel. So this one here, it says, John 14, 11, do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. So I, I've got on here, no broken hearts, because if you believe, he will heal your heart. So God doesn't like broken hearts. He likes for you to um, believe. Bye.